Welcome to our video. The topic this time is 7-minute lecture, International Economy and Japanese Economy. International Economy While the impact of the COVID-19 remains significant due to the spread of its variants, overseas economies have recovered on the whole, led by advanced economies. That said, Macroeconomic conditions have been uneven across countries and regions, depending on the extent of progress with vaccinations in particular. In advanced economies where vaccinations have been making relatively steady progress, the degree of improvement in economic activity, including that in face-to-face -face services, has been intensifying, as public health measures have been lifted in a phased manner. Having been positively affected by the recovery in advanced economies through the trade channel, Emerging economies have generally started to pick up, however, domestic demand in some countries and regions has been pushed down due to the effects of such factors as delays in vaccinations, the resurgence of the COVID-19 driven by the spread of variants, and the termination of fiscal support measures. As for the outlook, variation across countries and regions will likely remain significant for the time being, depending on the extent of progress with vaccinations. Recently, Due to the resurgence of the COVID-19 triggered by the prevalence of variants, improvement in business sentiment, including that of advanced economies, has slowed somewhat. However, if the impact of COVID-19 wanes gradually on the back of, for example, further progress with vaccinations across the globe, overseas economies are likely to continue to see a recovery on the whole, supported also by aggressive macroeconomic policies taken by the respective countries and regions. Japanese economy. Face-to-face -face services, such as eating and drinking as well as accommodations, remain under downward pressure due to the impact of the spread of the COVID-19 induced by an increase in variant cases. Nevertheless, with the recovery in overseas economies becoming evident, exports and production have been on an uptrend, despite supply-side constraints mainly on automobile-related goods. In particular, Amid an expansion in digital-related demand on a global basis, exports and production have been solid for IT-related goods including smartphones and personal computers, as well as parts for data centers and for capital goods, such as semiconductor production equipment. Corporate profits have in turn improved considerably. These developments have fed into business fixed investment, suggesting that a virtuous cycle from corporate profits to business fixed investment triggered by an increase in external demand, has operated without interruption. In short, while face-to-face -face services currently continue to be exposed to adversities, Japan's economy as a whole has picked up, driven by a recovery in overseas economies, mainly in advanced economies. Regarding the outlook, the face-to-face -face services sector will likely remain in a severe situation for the time being, but thereafter, as the impact of the COVID-19 wanes on the back of further progress with vaccinations, it is expected that economic recovery will become clearer from the end of 2021 onward. Economic Outlook on the Path Toward Overcoming the COVID-19 Pandemic The global economy, including Japan, appears to have entered a transitional period, as countries make progress toward overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic and returning to a normalized economy and daily life. It should be noted, however, that the stage of progress toward normalization varies significantly across countries. Simply put, it is thought that this is because there is unevenness between countries in terms of how far vaccinations have progressed and to what extent governments have provided fiscal support to address the pandemic. In order to achieve economic normalization, it is above all necessary that the COVID-19 subside. At present, this depends on progress with vaccinations. Moreover, I consider that sufficient fiscal support from the government is indispensable for minimizing the economic fallout of the pandemic for households and firms and for realizing the earliest possible return to their normal economic activities. Of course, even if people are vaccinated, this cannot eliminate the possibility that the spread of the COVID-19 will not be adequately contained. In fact, countries such as Israel, the United Kingdom, and the United States that took the lead in vaccinations, after seeing a plunge in the number of confirmed cases, have once more struggled with new spikes in cases caused by the global spread of the COVID-19 variants. Significant uncertainty remains over what economic impact the spread of these highly contagious variants will have.
Economic Outlook on the Path Toward Overcoming the COVID-19 Pandemic Still, although COVID-19 variants have brought about uncertainties, the global economy is heading toward realizing normalization triggered by progress with vaccinations. So far, this underlying trend remains generally intact. Thus, if we take a close look at what has happened to economic activity in countries that have taken the lead in their vaccination efforts, we can make reasonable predictions as to what the economic situation in Japan will be after vaccinations have made adequate headway. Based on the experience of these countries, at least before the outbreak of the Delta variant, once a country has achieved a certain level of vaccination coverage, people begin to go outside more often and economic activity starts to make rapid progress toward normalization. The period immediately following this return to economic normalization is marked most notably by the emergence of so-called pent-up demand. This occurs when, after having been held in check by public health measures and vigilance against the risk of being infected with the COVID-19, there is a surge in private consumption once these constraints are lifted. Underpinning this demand are excess savings in the private sector that have been accumulated due to individuals curbing consumption and to subsidies and other forms of government fiscal support. As a result, while being affected by supply-side constraints, there have been upswings in consumer prices in the United States and the United Kingdom since spring 2021, when vaccinations progressed in those countries. This has been especially apparent in the United States, where the rate of increase in consumer prices has been 5% or above since May. Moreover, both the United States and the United Kingdom have seen a scramble for labor as the number of job openings at firms, mainly for face-to-face -face services, has expanded rapidly due to the surge in demand. This, in turn, has led to rising wages for workers. However, numerous experts around the world, including policymakers, believe that upswings in prices and in wages particularly for the face-to-face -face services sector, seen in the United States and the United Kingdom, are only temporary and will gradually come under restraint as their economies head toward normalization. It is true that some experts disagree, characterizing the situation as not necessarily transient or as one that could lead to 1970s-type elevated inflation, but these positions remain in the minority. In other words, the majority of experts consider that, as the voluntary unemployment and reduced labor force participation that occurred amid the pandemic recede and constraints on the supply of goods and services ease, upswings in prices and wages will naturally level out. Still, even if upswings in prices and wages are to be suppressed over the medium to long term, the fact that such elevated inflation is already ongoing itself carries great economic significance. The reason for this is that global macroeconomic conditions since the 2000s have been characterized by sustained low inflation and low interest rates. This state was conceptualized by former Federal Reserve Chair Ben S. Bernanke as a global savings glut and by former U.S. Treasury Secretary Lawrence H. Summers as secular stagnation. The elevated inflation rates currently occurring in the United States and elsewhere are clear anomalies in terms of these hypotheses.